it seems like very often when you read about the life of Jesus, he's being asked a question by someone. That is certainly true during the last hours of his life. In John 18, verse 19, Jesus is finally brought before the high priest Annas. He's really kind of like high priest Demetrius, but he's brought before him for his initial questioning on the Jewish side of the attempt to come up with some kind of charges against Jesus to hand him over to the Romans. In verse 19 of John 18, the Bible tells us that the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and about his teachings. Now, we must be very clear that Jesus was never afraid of questions. We must also be very clear that the truth is never afraid of questions, of honest questions. However, there are two kinds of questioners, two kinds of questions. There are the questions and questioners that come from a desire, an earnest, honest desire to know the truth. And on the other side of that, opposite of that, there are the questioners and the questions that come from the motive, I'm going to find something, I'm going to use something that is answered to me to entrap this person or to use it against this person. The high priest and all of those on this side of the, the Jewish leadership, that's where they were. And that's the kind of questions that they were asking. And that's why it's so very difficult for Jesus to be in this position. But of course, the Lord knows absolutely how to handle this. In his response to the high priest's question, the Bible tells us, Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in the synagogues and in the temple where all the Jews come together. I have said nothing in secret. In other words, if you wanted to know it, you could have known it before now. You could have known it by now. And if anyone should have known the truth, if anyone should have had a great grasp and understanding of who Jesus was and what the scriptures taught about him, you would have thought it would have been the high priest and those in the priesthood. Jesus continues to say, why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard what I said to them. They know what I said. A remarkable statement about Jesus' disciples is made when he says that because he's saying that my disciples, they listen to me, they've heard me. Jesus is saying the truth can be taught, the truth can be known, and my disciples have heard it, my disciples have learned it, my disciples are faithful to me. When my disciples have asked me questions, it's not for the reason you're asking questions. Jesus is not being evasive here, he's just simply saying, this is not hidden. There's no reason for you to not know the questions you're asking because Jesus knows they're asking them for the wrong motivation and for the wrong motive. And we have to understand that Jesus is also saying, my followers can hear me and know what I say because what I say can be learned. I just wonder, as we think about being a disciple today, you know, you and me, would Jesus say the same thing? about us.